Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. How are we all? I hope we're all staying safe. Well, today is a very special day. Today's the day we celebrate the Transfiguration Mass. The Transfiguration is significant because it is a glorification of the body of Jesus Christ. Those with him that day saw Jesus in his glory. The appearance of Moses and Elijah testified that Jesus was the one whom the law and the prophets spoke about. The proving testimony of God the Father is in 2 Peter verse 1 to 16. Friends, in the book of Matthew chapter 17 verse 1 to 9, Jesus led his disciples, Peter, James and John, up Mount Tabor. Have you scaled a mountain? I have. It's a tiny one though. It's just a molehill called Mount Franklin in Delsford. I remember that was a very difficult task. It was tiring. It was daunting, it was unpredictable. And worse still, we're not sure what is going to meet us at every bend and angle. Well, friends, in that steep, challenging ascent to the peak, the disciples must have no idea what to expect. They must be hungry, thirsty, hot, uncomfortable, and just plain not sure about what is up there greeting them. The only thing they could do is to trust their leader, Jesus Christ, and to follow him. And boy, it turns out to be a great mountaintop experience for, you, for them. In fact, they saw more than that. They saw Jesus talking to Moses and Elijah, two of the major prophets in the Old Testament. That further confirmed to them that Jesus is the Lord, the Messiah. Friends, as I look back, in the last seven months of 2020, I realized that we've been on a very scary and unpredictable journey as well. It's scary because our nation and the world has been hit by an unprecedented pandemic of catastrophic proportion. Never have we witnessed a virus as invasive and devastating as the COVID-19. In my lifetime, I've witnessed a few difficult times like the SARS-1 and SARS-2 in Asia. Back then, I was working as a regional sales manager. And I remember there was panic mode all over the place. Hotels got into trouble, airlines got into trouble, business went bust, travel agents were wiped out almost overnight. Then it was the Asian tsunami crisis, where hotels were just completely sweep off the shore of Sri Lanka, Malaysia, Thailand, Bali, Indonesia. Many parts of Asia were affected. Then it was a 9-11, the bombing of the Twin Towers, that sent everybody into a frenzy. There was uncertainty, doubts, and unpredictability all around. However, these were all pale in comparison to what we face today, which is the COVID-19. Well, it's understandable that stage four lockdown with the recent restrictions bring lots of anxiety to everyone in Victoria. Now with the increasing number of deaths around, the bungalow and the hotel quarantine system and the aged care system, that makes it even more difficult for us. On Sunday, the 2nd of August, a state of disaster was called by our Premier. Well, friends, we're all doing this together. We're all keeping the curfew together and practicing good hygiene together. We're all in this together and I strongly believe we'll come out stronger. Well, this month has been a really difficult month for everyone, I believe. It's an uphill task similar to what the disciples were facing during that time when they scaled the mountain. So much so that hot-headed, quick-lipped Peter, in a moment of not knowing what to expect or to say, as he witnessed the transfiguration, he blurted out, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, I'll put up three shelters, one for you, Moses, and Elijah. While he was speaking, a bright cloud covered them, and a voice in the cloud said, My son whom I love, this is my son whom I love, with him, I'm well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell face down to the ground, terrified. But Jesus came and touched them. Get up, he said. Don't be afraid. When they looked up, they saw no one except Jesus. In this time of uncertainty, instead of running into panic mode and trying to do everything we can humanly possible to fix a problem that only God could fix, I'm not saying do not sanitize, 
keep to social distancing, mask up. All those are good things that we should continue even beyond COVID. But perhaps we could take this downtime to turn our faces, turn our faces, set our faces like a flint towards the Lord and practice listening to His voice. Perhaps we could stop trying to set up a shelter for God and get busy to do the things that we do in a pandemic mode. Instead, perhaps as Anglo-Roman Catholics, we should do what God instructed the disciples to do, which is listen to Jesus Christ, listen to Him and follow His voice. Friends, no matter how hard it is or how dire the situation is right now, we're in this together. The Anglo-Catholic communion needs to know and knows that Jesus has done this before and we can do it again. Well, Julian of Norwich in her book, 16 Revelations of Divine Love wrote, the fullness of joy is to behold God in everything. God is the ground, the substance, the teaching, the teacher, the purpose, and the reward for which every soul labors. Pope John Paul II, in an apostolic letter titled Rosary to the Virgin Mary, wrote on the fourth luminous mystery of the Rosary, which is the transfiguration of Christ. It was noted that the fruit of the transfiguration mystery is a desire for holiness. Friends, at this time of panic, let's quieten our hearts and desire holiness. Let's cultivate a listening ear for the voice of God and to follow Him so that our human body can be glorified and our spiritual man can be transfigured with the bedazzling brightness of Christ as we emerge from this stage 4 lockdown. Friends, if you want to pray for us, feel free to call the church. We've got a rosary session happening every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And starting this Friday, we've got the rosary assumption session as well. That's going to last for nine days from this Friday to the 15th of August next week. Feel free to call us, to pray with us. We'd like to hear from you. We also have a dedicated prayer team put together just to pray for your requests. So feel free to call us anytime. Till then, God bless. Stay safe, everyone.